There's a new action figure toy line hitting the markets right now called Savage Crucible. I mean, look at the box art on this shipper box. It's badass. And judging by the shipper box box art, the figure inside has to be cool, right? Let's open this bad boy and find out. What's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I'm SoCal Shaolin. I mostly do vintage toys and toy hunting at conventions, comic book stores, toy stores, wherever, flea markets, wherever they sell toys and collectibles. We mostly stick to vintage here on the channel, but every now and then I do... I pick up modern stuff and this one right here is a new toy line hitting the markets right now it's called savage crucible by harvinger studios the team at savage crucible hit me up on instagram they were fans of the channel and they wanted to send me a figure four review for the channel so here it is it's in hand uh, from what i understand is they had a kickstarter uh, last year and it backed and I believe right now they are doing pre-orders. So if you go to their website, Savage Crucible, I have links down below in the description to their Instagram and their website. So you guys can check it out if you're interested. Uh, but they are, they're doing pre-orders right now till May 12th. And then after they ship all that stuff out, they'll have in-stock orders like in June on their website. Uh, but I do believe the prices, if you wait till June when they go in stock, they will be higher. And I know Big Bag Toy Store will be selling these as well whenever they get their shipment in hand. And uh, lots of other ones as well, web toy websites. But you want to definitely give Savage Crucible a follow on Instagram to stay updated on uh, what other websites are selling them. But like I said, you can also order from that. Uh, but yeah, here is the box. I mean, the box art alone is awesome. It's crazy, crazy detail all the way around. Like I said, this is by Harbinger Studios. The toy line is called Savage Crucible. It's a highly articulated fantasy toy line. So if you're into like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Conan, heck, even Masters of the Universe, you'll probably enjoy this line. And yeah, so let's get this bad boy open and see what's inside. I don't know what figure they sent me. So it's going to be a surprise for, for me. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to get this thing open. So let's get this thing open. Here we have the action figure is in a nice box, window box too, with a little Velcro. I took a peek in there real quick just to see what it was. Uh, they did send a little note here with some more information. Uh, they released three waves in the Savage Crucible toy line and also a graphic novel. So the graphic novel probably has all the backstory to all these characters. So there's three different waves and they're shipping out right now if you back the Kickstarter. And uh, wave one consists of six different lizard men characters, uh, which is what I got. I took a, like I said, I took a peek. It looks awesome. And then there's also going to be uh, some humans as well, barbarians, some shape shifting beast men. And wave three as well, there's fish men. So pretty cool. There's actually a lot of cool toy lines, and uh, they're going to be releasing them this year as well. So. Uh, be on the lookout for that if you follow Savage so Crucible. And, uh, and if, like I said, if you like what you see, definitely give them a follow. Uh, we're going to take a closer look right now at this action figure. That amazing artwork continues on the actual box this is in. So kind of reminds me of like NECA figures. The ones that have the little window box packaging. You can see there. Savage so Crucible. And then there's like a little... A little read out there you guys want to read that i'm not going to read the whole thing but pretty cool got a little dented up during shipping that kind of sucks but let's open them up and check them out so this is one of the lizard guys L lemuria is what i believe is his name this is what it says in the back so pretty cool looking action figure you could tell right away very highly detailed on the sculpt Great paint job. Comes with a big old sword right there. Another one right there. And then another pair of hands as well. And then you got like a little read up there about the Lemurian lizard guy. It's pretty cool. I like that they're giving them a backstory. So they're not just action figures. There's also a graphic novel tied to it. Uh, according to 
paperwork they sent me. So very cool. So you get a whole immersive world here. Not just action figures, but the book and story as well. But let's get this guy out of the box. Get a closer look at him. And here is the map of Lemuria on the continent of Caraco. So this is their whole land right here. So very cool. I mean, they really fleshed out the story of this toy line. The Republic of Aram. There's, there's a snake empire over here. So very cool. Very detailed. You definitely spend a few minutes checking it out. And if you read the graphic novel, I'm sure these places will make sense to you. Like the, what is this? The Temple of the Holy Arrival? Hmm. So very cool, very cool. Here he is out of the package. This was behind the map right here. I do not know what it is. It's a foil wrapper. Kind of feels like a, maybe like a big trading card. That's probably what it is. Definitely feels like a, like a trading card. So that's pretty cool that maybe they're doing trading cards as well. We don't know what it is. It's a mystery. But here he is right here out of the package. Very cool. It's a closer look at all the details on him, on his armor. And check out the skin as well. It's very scaly like a lizard should be. Let's get him out of this thing. So here we have him out of the package. Very cool. Like I was saying before, you could definitely see the detail in him. See the scales there on his skin. Very awesome. Got two sword sheaths right there. So you can put your swords in when he is not holding them in his hand. The armor is very detailed as well. You can see there a bunch of cool little designs and symbols. So very cool. Look at that. The two-tone skin. Very, very articulated. You can see right here. Moves at the shoulders. I'm not a toy reviewer. So I'm not going to go in depth, but you can see the range of motion this guy has. Even his wrist spin around as well. And he's really tight, so I don't want to break anything. His, even his jaw kind of is articulated as well. You can see him trying to open it without breaking him, but very cool. You can definitely open his jaw as well. That's articulated. So very cool. Knees bend as well. And the foot look at that the ankle it's on a ball joint as well even the toes are articulated look at that so very cool the tail is articulated as well they got the different points here of articulation on the tail so all in all very highly detailed fantasy action figure this is one of the lizard warriors this is definitely like an army builder right here. So you could buy yourself a whole bunch of these and arm, army build this line right here. So very cool. Very awesome. And he came. I didn't take out the hands because these are closed fists. So you could put his weapons and swords in there. So I didn't take out the other ones. His other hands are opened. And then it came with... These two weapons came with a a sword, kind of like a curvy broad sword right there. And then this other one is even bigger. It's massive. I don't know if this is kind of like a flame or what kind of effect it is, but it's very cool. Translucent, like red and then yellow plastic here. So very cool, very awesome. And then it also came with another baggie of, these are the exact same weapons, so... So you get another set, which is cool. So you could have them holding two of the broadswords or two of these uh, laser swords. I have no idea what this is, but flame swords, but very cool. I like these a lot. These are very cool. I hope you all enjoyed that look at the new Toy Line Savage Crucible. This was the Imperial Century action figure. It's definitely an army builder of a lizard army. So if you're going to be collecting these. You're definitely probably going to want to pick up a whole bunch of these to build your army. And you can go to SavageCrucible.com to place your orders. Give them a follow on Instagram, Facebook, 
they're gonna have more information there on some of the other action figures in the toy line there's a whole bunch of waves coming out i want to thank savage crucible the team at savage crucible for sending me this action figure to show you guys all these opinions are my own i'm very honest i don't collect uh, modern toy lines anymore i mostly stick to vengeance you can see behind me uh, but every now and then i do pick up some modern stuff you know but yeah this was a very cool toy line uh, highly detailed the quality is very good uh on par with those big toy brands that do similar stuff this is a it's very cool i did not open the little silver foil packet it was it feels like it's a card i didn't open it and the reason i didn't open it is because i want one of you guys to open it and let me know what is inside because i'm not keeping this action figure man i am not keeping it i am giving it away to one of you uh I want to thank all the subscribers that subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, and you are the reason why the channel is uh, as successful as the way it is, why these toy companies are reaching out, sending me figures to review on the channel. So very cool. I get press passes, which is awesome. And it's all because of you that follow me, subscribe, watch the channels, leave comments, likes, everything. Uh, so I want to show the love back to you. And I always do every time I hit milestones. I love, uh, I haven't forgot why. Uh, this channel is successful and it, it's just fun doing this you know I mean it's a cool hobby uh, getting to review toys and buy toys and just share the whole experience with you so if this is your first time tuning into my channel yeah mostly vintage but every now and then we'll get some of this but I do hit up like cons and stuff here in Southern California so if you like that kind of stuff definitely subscribe and give me a follow on Instagram as well I'm on there's at SoCal Shaolin uh, so if you want to win this, you want to add this to your collection, all you have to do is be sub a, a subscriber to my channel, SoCal Shaolin. And then we'll do this a week from today, next May. I'm not sure what date it is right now, but I'll flash it down here. We'll do it next Friday. We'll do it a whole week. Give everybody a chance to uh, watch the video and enter the contest. I'm giving it away. All you have to do is... Subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments below what your favorite fantasy toy line is. It could be anything, any fantasy from any era. It doesn't have to be modern. It could be vintage. Uh, just let me know what your favorite fantasy toy line is. And that's your entry into the, the contest. And you could add this thing to your collection. Uh, very simple. And we'll do it next Friday, a week from today, live on the YouTube channel right here your chance to own this bad boy right here is an awesome figure you won't be disappointed if uh, you take this home and add it to your collection uh thanks again everybody for tuning into the channel socal shawlin once again thank you all for supporting me supporting the channel i can't thank you guys enough and uh yeah you guys keep it fun uh let me know what you guys are out there picking up for your collections and uh catch you on the next toy hunt i'm socal shawlin i am out